Ron, please. No, no way. Come on, Ron. I've been a loyal foot soldier. Give me my shot. Let me have lot 48. Is that a travel pillow around your neck? Ron, I don't know how to explain this to you. When you've been down in the pit, have you been in the pit? No, I haven't gotten down there yet. Well, I have. When you fell in. When I visited the bottom of the pit on a fact-finding mission. And when you're down there, you get some perspective about what it all means. Now, let me tell you something, Ron. What it means is I want this subcommittee. I've been quite open about this around the office. I don't want this parks department to build any parks because I don't believe in government. I think that all government is a waste of taxpayer money. My dream is to have the park system privatized and run entirely for profit by corporations like Chuck E. Cheese. They have an impeccable business model. I would rather work for Chuck E. Cheese. Ron Swanson, it is my pleasure to inform you that you are a finalist for the job of assistant city manager. Well, Chris, I feel I should remind you that I do not believe that the position or the entire government should exist. That said, you'd be a fool not to pick me. I will walk deeper into the belly of the beast if it means I'm able to further limit reckless government spending. I mean, I have so many ideas. Some are simple, like take down traffic lights and eliminate the post office. The bigger ones will be tougher, like bring all of this crumbling to the ground. So after all that, it's really not that bad. You're gonna get a letter in your file. Ron, I just wanted to say thank Don't you. Don't worry about it. No, I didn't, I didn't do it for Leslie. I did it because I hate bureaucracy. My idea of a perfect government is one guy who sits in a small room at a desk, and the only thing he's allowed to decide is who to nuke. The man is chosen based on some kind of IQ test and maybe also a physical tournament, like a decathlon. And women are brought to him, maybe, when he desires them. Although candy is our bread and butter, we also care about the health of our customers. And that's why we'll be debuting our new healthy energy bar, nutri -Yums. Take a look. Hi, I'm Nick Newport Jr., CEO of Sweetums. And I'd like to introduce to you our new line of energy bars, nutri -Yums. We start with 100% all natural corn. Then we add just a little bit of Sweetums corn syrup, a little drop of sunshine, and some other stuff. And since they're from Sweetums, you know your kids are gonna love Wow, that family looks so healthy. Food. Look at them, they're all wearing right? vests. Dakota, Denver? <laughs> Sorry, Shoelace. We don't make nutri -Yums for dogs. Yet. <laughs> Shoelace. nutri -Yums, where nutritious meets tasty. By Sweetums. If you can't beat them, Sweetums! I could not be happier about this. I think the entire government should be privatized. Chuck E. Cheese could run the parks. Everything operated by tokens. Drop in a token, go on the swing set. Drop in another token, take a walk. Drop in a token, look at a duck. Nutriums energy bars are just absolutely loaded with high fructose corn syrup and fatty oils. And any way you slice it, they're just extremely unhealthy for you. Leslie needs to butt out. The whole point of this country is if you want to eat garbage, balloon up to 600 pounds, and die of a heart attack at 43, you can. You are free to do so. To me, that's beautiful. I enjoy government functions like I enjoy getting kicked in the nuggets with a steel toe boot. But this hotel always serves bacon wrapped shrimp. That's my number one favorite food wrapped around my number three favorite food. I'd go to a banquet in honor of those Somali pirates if they serve bacon wrapped shrimp. Excuse me. Hey, table 12, can I get a what what? Wow. Thank you. I mean, Anne, you look stunning. But Leslie, wow. I was going for wow. You got it. I was told it was black tie. I like your hairdo, Leslie. Thank you, Ron. It's just like my brother's. He's an officer in the Air Force. Bacon wrapped shrimp. Oh, thanks. I'm OK. I wasn't offering. Hey. Hey. Am I interrupting something important? Impossible. I work for the government. I just picked up the girls. Thought we'd stop by. Oh, are the girls? <laughs> Yes, they are. Hello, girls. 
Diane and I have been seeing a lot of each other recently. She is a sharp, confident, strong woman. Her children are loud. Kung Fu! Here comes trouble! This is fun. Easy, girls. We'll be careful, Miss Lewis. I'm sorry. I got it. We just wanted to invite you to come trick-or-treating tonight. I think I'm a little old. Can we go wrong, please? Please. Oh, you can come, sure. But we have to go buy seven or else the good candy will be gone. Sounds perfect. <laughs> come on, girls. <laughs> what the hell just happened? April! Listen, I was trying to buy this handcrafted mahogany wood model of a B-25 Mitchell Panchito aircraft. Aw, for me? Don't sass me. And I went to this website and this ad popped up that said, Hey, Ron Swanson, check out this great offer. What's your question? My question is, what the hell? Like, how do they know who you are? Yeah. Okay, um, there are these things called cookies where like if you go to a site and buy something, it'll remember you and then create ads for other stuff you might want to buy. So it learns information about me? Seems like an invasion of privacy. Dude, if you think that's bad, go to Google Earth and type in your address. With current and projected deficits, we need to cut expenditures by 32%. Let's make it an even 40. Oh, that's not necessary. Slash it. Slash it. I am an official member of a task force dedicated to slashing the city budget. Just saying that gave me a semi. Right off the bat, we sell City Hall. Let somebody turn it into a large gas station or a TJ Maxx. Ron, that is a very creative idea. But we don't want to sell any of our major assets because we don't want to lose out on any future revenue streams. I hear that. Don't worry, I have tons more ideas. Okay, uh... <gasps> so sorry. New ringtone. Don't cut anything without me. Can I help you? Hi, my class is here on a field trip, and I'm supposed to interview someone for a school project. Okay. You can wait at that table, and someone will be here sometime. But aren't you here now? No. My report's due tomorrow. What's it on? Why government matters. Really? It's never too early to learn that the government is a greedy piglet that suckles on a taxpayer's teat until they have sore, chapped nipples. I'm gonna need a different metaphor to give this nine-year-old. What's your name, ma'am? Lauren Burkus. Lauren. My name is Ron Swanson, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the miserable, screwed-up world of local government. You mustard in your mustache. Don't sass me, Burkus. Let's get started. This is your lunch. Now, you should be able to do whatever you want to with this, right? If you want to eat all of it, great. If you want to throw it away in the garbage, that's your prerogative. But here I come, the government. and I get to take 40% of your lunch. And that, Lauren, is how taxes work. But that's not fair. You're learning. Uh-oh, capital gains tax. And that, Lauren, is how FDR ruined this country. Lauren, ready to head back? Well, I guess it's time for you to head home. I've really enjoyed talking with you. You are, and this is not a joke, much smarter than most of the people who work in this building. I like talking with you too, Mr. Swanson. Ron. Hang on, hang on, I have something for you. This is a Claymore landmine. Use that to protect your property. Thanks, Ron. You got it. Three, one, one. Well, Diane, for potholes, you want to speak with Public Works. I understand, you've tried them four times. Government is inefficient and should be dissolved. Please hold while I transfer you. Okay.